You're listening to How Sparks Radio Program Mega Worldwide. Ah, uh, I thought I was going to be like a new one every break. That. I was so excited. You Seriously. Want more hell? We'll no, I don't. More. We've heard this one already. Play a different bumper. It's driving me insane. This is torture now. You're just. Was right, it the same one? Back. No, that was. No, it wasn't. Actually, it switched over. It was good. They played uh, two and now this is a different one. Yeah, and then, oh, oh gosh. Um, what, welcome now back to the show. PTSD. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I now I get lost if I don't have like a minute wind up before I start talking in the segment. It's it's crazy that way. Um, uh, and and by the way, which cat was that you had on your on your lap? I've only got the one. That's Flora. Oh, and, oh yeah, Flora. She has right. moved on to greener pastures. Flora. Oh, I. She's still alive. That don't th- if those at home. <laughs> greener she, pastures she, meaning the kitchen. He, he was not holding up a dead cat during the break. That's what I'm not. What I'm saying. <laughs> I try to, you know, taxidermy That's is. Not, uh, yeah, it's 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 leaps and bounds. I mean, what they do yeah. with AI now is incredible. It's amazing. <laughs> um, so there, you know, I was I was telling Johnny during this, you know, sort of in the lead up to the show, that there was a woman named Kirsten W. Who people remind me of that uh, had, you know, was like. Roseanne's QAnon sponsor. She would go on Roseanne's Roseanne Barr's podcast or her live stream and and for three hours talk her through it's right around the corner. The whole Q thing is happening. It's the great awakening. Don't worry, Trump. And this was all during the election, a post-election during January 6th to the 20th, for weeks after, months after, into last spring. Any second. Biden's, he's not even doing, he's doing all this from a set at Amazon Studios. That's not even the real White House. There, there, there's gallows in front of the White House. They are bringing, like, tr- after Trump left, they, br- the, the White Hats broke into the White House and are freeing children from the basement. No explanation as to why there were children in the basement the entire time Trump was in office and why that breakout didn't happen in 2017 on the 21st of January, whatever. Oh, man. Cuckoo. Um, But they're, you know, in many ways, back with a vengeance. We've seen over the last couple of weeks, they, you know, the they've been waiting. JFK Jr. is going to show up in Dallas. Then he was going to perform live with the Rolling Stones. At a certain point, how, 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 how prideful do you have to be? Oh. And I mean this sincerely. Like how, how much like just bullet you need to keep, save face so badly that you are just all in on anything. You've got, you bought in so in for a penny, in for a pound. You are, it's it, every time, every single poker game, it's just shove all your chips in and go, this is the day. Derpity do. I am amazed. Yeah. At the, I mean, obviously there've been people who've jumped ship and there's been people who've shown up on, you know, CNN and going, I, you know, talk to Anderson Cooper. I thought you ate babies. Remember that guy? Oh Yeah. <laughs> And he was that was actually like the most humble former Q person I've ever witnessed. Yes. But there is a new wind up of these folks. And at the forefront of it are effect, effectively two people. Um Ron Johnson and Donald Trump. You know, Ron Johnson Johnson's. is this kind of yeah, of Wisconsin. Ron Johnson, Wisconsin. Oh, Ron yeah, Wisconsin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnson. The guy who spent uh, July fourth in twenty eighteen in Russia with Vladimir Putin, with no press present, having a closed door meeting with him to negotiate something or other, whatever. And I mean, we don't know. We can't know. You know, because they were. I guess the sw- the swamp was so drained. There's nothing even to look at. Yeah, how would we? How can we possibly know? So, meanwhile, the, 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 you know, Trump's been just, he will not 
He's all in on this thing. And mainly, the, the question of, at some point, did he believe it or not believe it, is uh, that ship has sailed. At this point, he's like somebody who's, you know, committed a crime and convinced themselves they haven't. And they just, he, you know, they uh, they tell themselves a lie so many times yeah. they've suddenly believed that it. They believe they just, it. They're, yeah. He's all in. He, at this point, he knows he was it was ripped off. And nobody around him is allowed to tell him different. He's gotten rid of all those people. Now, the people and his, and his staff knows he lost. But they don't bring it up. Yeah. And what their their entire job is to stiff arm the Sydney Powells and the Lynn Woods of the world to keep him in manageable versions of crazy and limit the interviews that he does where he goes off on that kind of stuff to crap no one watches like Candace Owens Daily Wire show or The Blaze like it, where you know effectively you know right wing internet cul de sacs do they have viewers yes. But they don't have any new viewers. That <laughs> that viewership is not expanding. They're not convincing yeah, anyone. Yeah. They're not drawing a crowd. They're preying on a crowd. They have lured. They have penned the animal, and they are living off of its, you know, its milk. That's that's really what it is right now. They are not hunt. They're uh, while giving themselves the illusion of being hunter gatherers. They're the you know whatever Brooks and Dunn weren't they the guys that like shot a stake down caged bear. And we're like, I'm a bear oh. hunter. Like, that kind of stuff. Oh, I hope not. They, they do that with their own audience. And so does Steve Bannon. The, 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 Steve Bannon's show doesn't have new viewers. Uh, I mean, uh, genuinely. All it does is lose viewers. And they 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 putter along with the... Uh, you know, because they've to, Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, we just hit 1,000 in the chat room. Congratulations. Welcome. Thanks, everybody. Uh, once we hit a thousand, if you feel like doing it, ten bucks in the, the super chat is a lovely way to support the show. If you don't, that's fine and it's awesome and whatever. Anyway, so I have to remind everybody, like everybody in the chat reminds me to actually do this, and I thank you guys for doing it because I wouldn't do it without it. Um, so Steve Bannon, um, you know, is fighting appearing before the uh, the the Jan Six Committee, as any truthful person who yeah. does not fear. Uh, the public guy would do, right? This is what you do. That's what you do, right? That's right. So, um, uh, and and it's because he knows he's on. You know, if you know you're on the winning side, that's what you do. Is you you hide Whoa. and avoid telling your winning side. That's what I mean. That's what makes you a winner. Is is mm -hmm. you your see is the secret sauce of winning. If they if they're able to ask you questions. Then, uh, then, then people might learn the point? your magic What's secret. What's the point, really, of winning, of being better? That's right. That's right. When, anybody can win on the truth. It's way w <laughs> better to win by never having to tell the truth. You know what I mean? Keep the truth to yourself. And um, <coughs> so Steve Bannon has this thing where, uh, you know, he's, he, he's going to fight this to the end, and they pick the wrong guy, and also naval jargon. Right, he used a lot of navy jargon, tip of the spear, and all this other stuff. Because yeah, and he loves that. Meanwhile, oh god. Hey, Meanwhile, he shirt. yes, uh, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, stacking clothing like like he's uh, Columbo going undercover on Skid Row, and You're then going to see his nipples. I th well, then you know, thanks for finding the silver lining, John. <laughs> you always do. I appreciate yeah. it. So. uh Steve Bannon just took out a weird loan to seemingly pay for his legal bills, which apparently are no problem, and he's doing just fine. And mm -hmm. aren't gonna be, you know, and and he, uh, I guess he, well, I don't even know why you need a lawyer. If you got you got executive privilege and you can plead the fifth, get, go in <laughs> on the cheap, bro. What are you paying all this money for? So, um. It sure isn't for soap. Trump advisor Steve Bannon sought a loan against a Connecticut property that he doesn't even own. Three weeks Ooh. after being indicted for defying a subpoena from the House Select Committee investigating the January 6th insurrection court of documents reviewed by the Daily Beast. Um, um, it, this was right after. After they found him in contempt. 
Um, the, the materials addressed directly to Bannon at the $1.5 million stone estate in the pl- uh, suburban town of Wilton do not reveal the amount of money sought, nor what Bannon sought it for. They do, however, date the loan application to December 2nd, 2021, roughly three weeks after a grand jury indicted Bannon for refusing to testify before the House committee probing the Jan 6 riot, and around two weeks following his initial appearance in federal court. They also indicate Bannon attempted to borrow the dough from a Phoenix branch of a Kansas state bank. Um, a Kansas, uh, oh, sorry, KS State Bank, a Kansas-based lender via Delaware Limited Liability Company named for the home's address. So he sets up a corporation in Biden's home state because it's corporate friendly and uh, borrows money from a Kansas lender, which I'm sure we'll find out was a, you know, a Trump-friendly bank on a piece of property he doesn't even own to pay legal bills for something that he thinks he doesn't even have to fight because the truth is on his side. It all makes sense. What I recommend is maggots, Trumpsters, supporters of Donald Trump, please continue to send your money to Donald Trump at DonaldJTrump.com. Sign up uh, for a recurring donation and uh, go watch Steve Bannon's podcast and buy all of his sponsors stuff because money well spent. Money and time well spent. Good on you. Good judge of character. Yet again, we'll be back.